Hello, my name is Holly Hanley and I am a founding Canadian affiliate with Tori Bell Cosmetics. I wanted to share with you what I like to do when I first get a set of lashes to make that first application go as seamlessly as possible. So I'm going to take our boardroom lashes. They're absolutely gorgeous. And you're going to see that each pair comes with 10 anchors along the bottom. And what the, those anchors are going to do is they're going to sandwich between the magnetic lash, our natural lash, and then those anchors. And so they're going to sandwich them in there and they're just going to provide an extra hold. The anchors are not necessary, um, but you can use only anchors as well if you don't want that eyeliner look and you don't have our mascara. So what I like to do is I'm going to take the lash and quite often the, the curve that's on those lashes isn't um, quite as much of a curve as our natural lash line would be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lash and in between each tiny little magnet, I'm just going to slightly bend the band. And like I said, just in between each magnet. And this is just gonna help that lash band to um, sit perfectly on our lash line and give it a little bit of a curve. That last one can be tricky. There we go. So another thing that I like to do is I like to take the first magnet on the lash and the last magnet on the lash and join them so that they become a circle, kind of like that. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. And so if I just get a new set of lashes, I'll quite often leave them like this in the case overnight before I start to put the lash on. And that's really going to accentuate the bend in that lash band and make it easier to apply. So while we let that one sit, I'm just going to take the other lash and I'm going to do the same thing to this one. So just giving the band a slight bend in between each and every single little tiny magnet. Perfect. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take anchor number one, sorry, magnet number one and magnet number 10, and I'm going to join them together to create a circle, just like that. So in order to prep the eyelids, especially if you have um, oily eyelids, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a, a powder down. So that's going to act as a barrier between the oil that your eyelids naturally make and the eyeliner. And it's going to stop that eyeliner from trying to lift throughout the day. So especially if you have oily eyelids, I highly recommend just powdering lightly along your eyelid. While we wait a few minutes for that lash to get a natural bend to it, I'm going to talk a little bit about our liner. So the same thing for the liner and the mascara. One thing that you want to be sure not to do is when you open up your tube and you pull that liner out, you never want to um, take any excess product off on the side of the tube. You'll just put a little dot on your hand to take any excess off because what that does is that is going to create um, clumps in your liner and then it's not going to last as long. So these lashes have been sitting for a minute and you can tell that they have quite a bit of bend to them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to size my lash. So all of the lash styles that I've tried so far have been a six magnet lash, and this is a 10 magnet lash. So I'm not quite sure how much I'm gonna have to trim off, but I do know that I will have to do some trimming. On the six magnet lashes, me, myself, I have to trim one magnet off. So it turns into a five magnet lash. These lashes are never going to fit somebody's eye perfectly. I don't know of anybody who doesn't have to trim at least one magnet off. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to look straight and where the white in your eye stops on the inside corner, that is where you are going to start your lash. So right around there and you'll lay it down and you can see that the lash is too long for my eye. So what I do is I am going to trim one magnet at a time off of these lashes and I'm going to trim them from the outside corner. So I'm going to try to get as close into that last anchor or last magnet as I can and just trim them with tiny little cuticle scissors. It can be tricky because the scissors are metal and these are magnets, so they like to stick. There we go. So what I trimmed, I'm actually gonna keep, and I'm gonna keep that as an extra anchor for that set of lashes. Oh, it went down my sleeve, but I'll grab it after. Um, so I keep it as an extra anchor for that set of lashes, and um, then I can use it either on top of the lash or underneath the lash just to give that extra hold and give the lash a little bit of extra volume. So again, I'm going to actually take a smaller mirror so that I can look straight at it. So that's a lot closer, but you can still, if you look carefully, you can see that there's one magnet at the end there that's kind of hanging off the edge. So I am going to personally trim one extra magnet off. So for me, it looks like with the 10 magnet lashes that I'm going to need to trim two magnets off. And that's pretty typical from what I've heard from a lot of people. So I just trimmed the end and now I have an eight magnet lash. So I already have some ladies night lashes on, but I'm just going to set these ones on top and I can stack them. And those fit pretty perfectly. So yeah, so you're gonna wanna look straight. You'll start your lash where the white in your eye starts next to your pupil. You'll start it right above there. So even if you typically take your eyeliner closer into your tear duct, you are more than welcome to do that still with eyeliner. It's not going to hurt you at all, um, but you wanna start the lash right there or else it's not gonna look very natural on you. So I'm going to take my next set of lashes and I'm assuming that I'm gonna to have to cut off two ink or two magnets, but I don't know that for sure. My eyes might be a little bit different in size. So I'm going to grab my mirror again and looking straight at it, I'm going to start right where that white starts. It's getting caught on my other lash. So here you can really tell that that's hanging down low. So I'm just going to take that off and again, just trim that last magnet off. And again, I like to trim them just one at a time so that I don't get too much off. So again, you can see how well those grip there. So that is my two lashes stacked. Again, it's hanging just a little bit off the edge. So I'm going to trim that ninth magnet off as well. So my eyes are pretty symmetrical, it looks like. And 
and there you go. So those are my tips for when you first get a set of lashes, the best um, practices so that you can get that real curve into your lash and it makes that first application a whole lot easier.